last time on Plane Striders. I saw the snake of eternity today. You don't scare me. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it should be so much easier if I could do this with magic. A big golden titan thing fell out of the sky. We'll get to that. Some moments pass, and then you crumple to the floor. The water splashes on your face, and for a moment, nothing happens. And then, from beneath your clothes, you see the flash, just a faint light of a few runes, and something metallic. And then, you lurch awake. There we go. Hey, buddy. Sorry. We're looking for a big door. That's descriptive. I want a coliseum. I know where we're Right? Uh, do you know how far away it is? You don't, but the way your sense works is if, like, for example, you were able to use a star map, you it's like it's like a globe. You don't you you wouldn't know exactly where it is on a globe, but you could roll the globe and you could know you're getting closer, closer, hot, cold until right. you arrive. Right. Um, your star map. I believe we have something far better than that. Mm -hmm. As you stride. Into the great, into a great glass dome, a circular table uh, in front of you. Faust models with a keyboard for a second, and then lights flash from the globe hanging above the table, and you find yourself in a planetarium. It's like a star map. Yeah. A 3D and everywhere. 3D. Okay. Um. This one find a place on the map, it's the location, but something feels off. There's nothing there on the map, and you feel like, not that it's somewhere else, but it's deeper. Can you go extra planar? Yes. Mm -hmm. do, you have a, can we, do you have maps of multiple planes? It's kind of a, I don't know what when I see it thing. Uh, so we'll reach and to like pull out a thing, so like a little segment of the table will open up and a little wheel will come and it'll just start like spinning it and like Shifts through planes, plane, 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 none of them. Some of them feels more faint, some of them it feels a little bit stronger, but always the same, as if it's deeper, 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 until he gets near to the end of the wheel, and then <laughs> the map shuts off. Always voice chirps. This is restricted information. You do not have access. As, uh, as the mechanic of the ship, I would like to request access. This is important. Access denied. We're searching for the captain of the ship, he might be in trouble. Access denied. Clearance level. Father. This oh, no. asshat. No, 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 no. Uh, father is not this the ten. Father, the OA calls father the, the Voyager. I'll just lean over. This used to be one of his ships. Huh? It is a bit of a long story, but yes, this used to be one of the Voyager's ships. Father created me. I like reach over and touch it. Okay. Is that a good touch the wall, or is that a, I'm going to destroy this thing, touch the wall? Because please don't. <coughs> Can I roll insight on his <laughs> touch the wall? <laughs> or perception? That is a 14. Don't know. I'm pretty sure I don't have any fucking charisma, so uh, that was a look of reverence. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Faust. I, I was looking into the systems that there might be a way I will be able to access it. I don't know if it's going to work, though. I am fully willing to give it a shot if you think it will not be harmful to the ship. I would not advise. OA, I asked you not to listen to no conversations. <laughs> <laughs> you are attempting to mess with my core processing and my primary objective. I cannot allow you to overwrite Father's mandates. I'm not... If I must protect information level imperative. I will destroy myself. I think that constitutes it being a danger to the ship. May I try something? Um, Owe, I have the password from father. <laughs> One. <coughs> R. O. N. U. N. One. Zero. N. Password not recognized. Shit. <laughs> I really thought you were going to stop at one for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to go, all right, away. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
we're going to be. No, I was doing that. Iron Union, but with one. Oh. Of the... oh, I see. <laughs> like if I'm if I'm the vo- also I'm sorry if I'm the Voyager I don't have a password. Like he probably does. I think it's like. I can magical. cross the plane yeah. instantly and vaporize anyone who posts my IP address. Um, I I have a suggestion. Um, so we don't need to know what plane of existence that one is if we know all the planes of existence that it isn't. There are so many there planes of existence. There are, no endless, there are endless planes of existence. Yeah, but there's a limited number of planes in which the Voyager traveled using this vessel. I I'm, I mean, um, I'm not like, I'm not specifically like a student of, of Voyager history, but um, we, we could start with the list of all of the dimensions and realities in which the Iron Union is active in, maybe? Oh wait, pull up the chat logs. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna check these Oh no, receipts. don't pull up the chat logs. Do not, <laughs> actually, do not pull up yes, the chat logs. I wouldn't actually do that, but I do want to see the chat logs. Do not, <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking let you see the chat logs. All right, I will attempt to cross-reference those things. Uh, yeah, so here's the thing. You go through the ship's records as to its locations. It's been a lot of different places. Right some of which you find very interesting. Like 30% of them are redacted. Um, Khalees is gonna try to sneak into the engine room while this conversation is happening. Ah, this I'm totally bitch. gonna be watching if she leaves though. <laughs> uh, you start to sneak away. Mark. Hi. Your spidey smark sense gets a tingle. Smark sense. Yes, oh. The subject has moved. Oh. He's moving. It feels stronger now. I'm closer. What? We're closer to it, and I'm unfathomable distance, but a less unfathomable I distance. I will go back and flip through planes. Yeah. About 17 in, he's in that plane. That's the oh. one. That's the one? That's the one. Seems like he's moving, let's go. And then he's gone again. Shit. Is he, he he's jumping between? He's plane strike. And then he's back in. He, Same he's plane. Go, go to that there. location. We can, let's like go, go. And then out again. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. In and out. Let's go there. I hope he's okay. Come on. Let's go. I he's always will. winking in and out of the same place, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's go. We have to use Chris to travel an extra planner, yes? Mm-hmm. So. All right. Chris, considering the issues we've been having, do you think you can still use the deck? I can't say for certain. I would like to have a few minutes on my own to speak with the Fae to check in with them. Okay. Take all the time you need. All right. And I'm going to break off and head up to the library. Uh, if anybody is hurt while she's doing that, I would can take anybody up to the med bay and take care of you there. Yeah, I doing that takes a lot out of me. Okay, uh, you come with Faust if you need to talk to someone. I, would, uh, I will come later. He's much worse than I. It'll take me some time. No offense. No, none taken. So I will uh, head up to the med bay then with uh, Mark in tow. Okay, and I will head to my cabin. Okay. And Bo and I, I guess we're just going to do almost like we stayed there. I you can come guess. with me to the med bay. You can come with yeah, me to the med bay. No, no, you can, like, all the I, I, I wanted to talk. Dunbo is kind of like enamored with the ship at this point, and Mark's been here before. He's <laughs> been here <laughs> so, yeah, Dunbo's going to go explore. The ship right. if nobody stops him. <laughs> cool. Um, I mean, as soon as you start wandering around, Tiny Knight launches into a tour. And so over here, you can see oh. um, if you push this button. Huh? Lionel! Lionel! The glass becomes transparent and you can see space outside and then you can see the masts. And if you push this button, it becomes foggy again. And if you push it again, it does the same thing. Alisa, should I be concerned about any of this right uh, now? Did- don't let him push, push any more buttons. Don't worry, I haven't pushed any buttons that I haven't seen you guys push before first. Okay. That's probably safe, Jeff, yes. You always respect the push see first rule. Just let me know before you push anything. Okay. I'm sorry, what, what? Just let me know before you push anything else, especially in the control room. Oh, I don't push buttons in the control room. Okay, good. Just like light switches and like door openings and like stuff like that. Okay, good. I mean, unless there was like an emergency and somebody might die, then I would have to evaluate that 
instance on an individual basis based on the factors involved. Let's, let's hope that nobody is going to die here. Um, I hope nobody dies, but um, you all have a history of adventure. Yeah, we have the history of adventure. Fair, that's a good point. We have the history of adventure, mister. Tiny Knight has a retort for that, but you're not here. Tiny Knight? <laughs> I know. Tiny Knight's life is an adventure. Ah. Um, huh? Well, actually, uh, Dumbo, may I? Sorry, I am still trying very... I'm, I'm still working on communicating. Hey, hey, Kalisa, right? Yeah. You're all right. You kind of got gunked up a little bit. Sorry, I... Usually when I talk to someone that is outside the team, it doesn't really go so well. Okay. Well, first of all, ain't no reason to apologize. Just a couple of folks. Second of all, just want to make sure you're okay. Yeah, sure. What is there something you need to ask? Um, this feels like maybe private conversation. Should I? Why don't you go check on Mark? Understood. And he runs down the stairs. Thank you. <laughs> when, when we were fighting those things... You said something about a snake? Yes, though that sounded like gibberish now that I think about it, so don't worry too much. I didn't get hit on the head too hard, so don't worry about that. It's it's fine. Kalisa kind of like looks into his eyes. Probably for the first time she's having a very hard time making eye contact with anyone, so like... You saw it. Didn't you? It's a very generic statement. <laughs> I mean, you, you do gotta be a little bit more. The, the dark? I'm gonna look around, see if like, we're just standing in the hallway right now, well, right? No, you're still, you're sta- still standing in the observatory. Oh yeah. Okay. And the glass dome is currently foggy. Yeah, still processing. How do you know anything about that? Like, so wait, so did, are you, are you like, are you like me? Did you die too? Wow. Um, first of all, I don't think there's anybody like you. You're very unique. Second of all, not to kind of take away from what I just said, kind of, I've died a lot of times, but I tend to come back pretty easily. As long as the heart restarts, you're all good. I've been in a lot of dangerous situations. I don't think I've died like you're trying to say right now. No, it's just that, because, wait, does that mean you've been there a couple of times? No. In fact, I... Make sure Tiny Knight's not watching. (laughs) I went there through Tiny Knight's bag, actually. Uh Oh. Did you die and see it? It was, it was before I was like this. It's a memory. No, not, not quite. I, I mean, I wasn't, I mean, I was made into this, but I wasn't born like that. I, I was a human and I was very little and I don't remember much of anything from that, but what I remember is after the big thing, I was, I was just there, and and now and then I and then I woke up in this, and this then built me. He said that he got me out of there, and I was, and now from now on I was a part of the crew. But I don't remember it, and I honestly don't want to. And sometimes when I think about it too much, my uh, tear canals begin to malfunction. So your tear canal. I'm so sorry. That is a tragic story, and I don't want to take away anything from it. But I don't really understand what you are. You're not human? Well, not not anymore, in a way. I, um, basically this body belonged to the, the mechanic of the ship, and uh, this tent somehow was able to get my soul, I guess, into it. And now it's kind of like a part of the, a part of the program, a part of the system. Right, and your tear, you stop crying. Well, I guess you could call it that, yeah. I don't know if I can. Yeah, darling, I think you're just crying. That's something that happens to everybody. Lord knows I wanted to. 
But you're really cool. Well, thank you. I like to think so sometimes. You said that before in the fight. But then you did the same thing I did, so I think like that coolness sort of does transfer a little bit over to you. So, look, I don't know much about all this gods and deities. My whole goal was to find the Voyager because uh, I've got a point to prove. It's just stubbornness, really, at this point. You all, I've seen all this, and when I saw the snake, it was terrifying. I'd never seen anything close to that. And I'd seen the Voyager, okay? If you saw that you're still here doing what you're doing right now, you are just as cool as anybody else. Thank you. What is he like? The Voyager or the snake? The, the Voyager. Oh, huge. Shines like the sun. Big, bold voice. I watched him. He, he came to my planet, you see. And um, the guardian of our planet, she, she went to go speak with him. And she said that she knew why he was here, or something like that. It's kind of hard to hear them. All up in the sky, sound like thunder. But basically, she said, I will let you take my power if you protect my people. And you know what he said? He said, no. He said, that's not my point. The point is that nobody should have to rely on somebody to protect them. And I thought about that long and hard. My, my folks and my whole family, they... They blame the Voyager for the planet dying because he took the power, but I get what he was trying to say. If at any point the Guardian of my planet decided we weren't worth anything anymore, same thing, same reaction. So the way I see it, he's a little bit of a selfish boy, but he's one who has a real big heart. And I still, well, I say still, I've gained power from guardian of my planet ever since, which meant the Voyager was still out there somewhere even after he disappeared. Until today, and then something different happened, and I got a big old mouth, and I don't know much about that, but I'm still pretty sure he's out there. Wait, so that's that the first time it happened? Absolutely. Never seen that before in my life. But I also assumed it was because I had met the big old snake. I thought that was the reason. I mean, I, I, I don't think... Mm. You tried? You might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> Open it real wide. Turn it into a bear. Turn it into a bear. Yeah, Barrel's gonna have company now. <laughs> well, like, you know, I, I never really experienced that, but I do have uh, a lot of things that kind of, like, go power through through the magic. Okay. Um, like, for example, I have, like, the armor of magical strength, and Kalisa, she's, uh, she's gonna get uh, to one of the, like, crates with the maps and with the systems like as a person we're not keeping that place perfectly tidy all the time and she's gonna try to and she's gonna try to pick it up and thinking that the runes are about to start glowing right so it's gonna yeah. so it's about to work like you heave and a screw pops loose and rolls across the floor oh wait i've got it i've got it i've got it go, go, go chase after it. <laughs> um did that hurt not really but that's not how it's supposed to usually work thank you by okay. the way yeah no problem uh, <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, that's not. But I was still, I was still able to pick you up. You were, yeah, very yeah. impressive. Thank you. Um, you also burned me a little bit. Oh, yeah, you were burning hot, like everything around you. Don't, don't want to feel bad about that or anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm first of all, so it. sorry about. No, don't our... apologize. It's fine. You saved me. That usually doesn't really happen. I mean, the explosion is also a pretty new thing, but I was able to, it was a part of the systems, but the overdrive, this is weird. Um, I think I need to scan my systems, but this is, it's very nice to talk. It was very hard before. I took a lot, so <laughs> if you ever want to talk more, that's fine. I would love that. Well, listen, let's keep the whole snake thing between us for now. If you get scared, just remember somebody else has been there. If you need to talk, I mean, as long as we're on this job, I'm around. It would be nice if you, if both of you would, if you would want to stick around later. We have the space. If we succeed on this mission, I'm gonna have to su just, I'll have to reconsider a lot about my life <laughs> up to this point, I'm gonna be honest. But uh, me and Mark have been pals for a while, so I don't see us splitting at any point. Understandable. Uh, um, you know, 
Uh, that's what I feature on. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to go check and make sure he didn't die in the med bay. <laughs> in the med bay. In the med bay. Meanwhile, the in the med bay. In the med bay. Say, thanks for that segue, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> that was perfect. In the med bay, uh, Avenadil is preparing miscellaneous tools. Sure. I'm not really the healer. I'm the second best, so sorry. That's fine. It's not all that complicated. I just want to make sure you, you, you looked like you got stabbed a couple times. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. I also yeah. got stabbed a few times. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, and I'm going to just grab bandages and sure. miscellaneous poultices and start treating wounds. Sure. I hope I succeed on this set. Sure. Which one's the best one at the healing? Cress. Uh, the big hair. Big, yeah, big hair. <laughs> also really tall. Just, nice I'm the shortest one. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> oh, nice. Ah. That's a crit success. So I get all my health back and 20 temporary, right? (laughs) That would be nice. And I get to do it, and I get to roll again. Oh, okay. Yeah, so when you treat wounds, you can continue treating wounds if you succeed. Uh, What? Oh, let's treat these wounds. Yeah, baby. Treated. Let's go. Uh, I'm the second best, but I'm going to do this (laughs) perfect. Oh, I rolled so well. I rolled two sevens, a one, and a five. Sl- above average. That's D8s? Yeah, D8s. Damn. Yeah. So that's 20. Uh, I'll wait again. for you to Damn. do it again if you want to do it again. I will do it again. Um, she's really tall and it's really weird because I'm I'm the shortest one on the team and that's going to maybe it fail. <laughs> Not a critical fail, just a 10. No, she was trying to heal me out there. And then I tried to heal her the way I heal people. That didn't work either. Um... Like magic? Magically, yes. It's planar magic. I can teleport you. Okay. Um, that's. Okay, that's not working. (laughs) (laughs) Hubble (laughs) Black. Breathe, breathe, breathe. <laughs> Magic's fucky. I cast message to Cress. And nothing happens. Fuck. Magic's fucky. Magic's fucky. Magic's fucky. <laughs> okay, um, well. Almost like we switch for what? Oh, yeah. what? Uh, what? In that case, I'm gonna go find someone else and uh. I do feel like I can stab marginally faster than I could before. I'm very glad. <laughs> if you want to, a little bit more, um, go check in with Cress. Okay. Yeah, you all get the sensation that, like, it wasn't just magic. Like, the the physical laws of reality seem to function on a slightly different wavelength now. Imagine and things that. things are called different, too. I feel no, like no, it's easier for me to decide how to avoid different effects. Imagine that. Um, mm. Avenadiel gives kind of a to Mark and takes a big uh, handful of healer's tools and heads up to go find Faust. As she walks... Out of that door, you see a satyr walking down the hall, holding a steaming tray of fresh baked rolls that the smell wafts over you. uh, Her skin is entirely pink, and she has pink curly hair and twitching fawn-like ears. Hello. Hi. (laughs) Are Are those for everyone? I have one with your name on it. Great. Uh, I just take a bite and I'm just, no, mouth's wide open. (laughs) You sink into it, it's buttery, it's flaky, it melts in your mouth. I'm hungry now. I'm so hungry. Make a fortitude save. What did you say? A fortitude save will be uh, 15. You feel a sensation flood through your senses and they almost focus, and you feel your your sight and your hearing sharpen just a little bit, and you feel a small tingling sensation in your fingertips. For the next hour, you can add one to your perception rolls. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Jafichi. Jafichi, I love this <laughs> one. <laughs> I just knocked myself out. I'm very hungry. 
Well, you can have more. I made like. Great. <laughs> <laughs> we have like a dining room if you want. If you want like a whole meal. Oh shit! Yeah. I made stew. <gasps> Sounds great. Uh, I take no, like I not 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 rabbit stew. I eat rabbit. I take. <laughs> <laughs> I take like three rolls and like kind of carry them over to the med bay. She she leads you to the kitchen where where you see there is large like boarding room style like big like wooden tables laid out several of them. Uh yeah so I um, I'm gonna go up to the stew and I, I think I'll like start by dipping the breads in, um, but then when I run out of bread I'm just gonna kind of scoop with my hand. Wow, <laughs> you're very hungry. Um, yeah. Uh, here's a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> she ladles soup of the soup. Oh my hands there. are already dirty. It's fine. <laughs> soup. I, I don't mean to pry, but um, do, a little bit about me. This will make sense in a second. I'm I'm a fae, and I don't have. Nice to meet you, a fae. Well, my name's Jufici. Jufici, okay. But but I, I kind of was a fae. Oh oh, a fae. But I Got lost it. my magic. Okay. But um, I I pretty much know what I'm looking at with magic. Right. One could say she has a really high arcana. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Um, you've got some interesting things going on over there. Yeah, I used to be able to teleport, and now I can't. Magic's fucky. Did you find out magic's fucky too? Um, I don't have any, so. Okay, yeah, you know magic's fucky then. I meant like before, like I haven't oh, had any for 14. Oh, so magic went fucky for yeah, you earlier. I, well, I haven't had any for 14 years. Did you pass that on to some of the other people on the boat? And then when I was on the smaller boat with them? I'm pretty sure not. Mine was taken away by the other Fae because I was part of a faction that sided with the Voyager. And then after he disappeared, we kind of got booted um, from the Fae Wilds. Got it, okay. Okay, but so do you know? The gold oof. But you okay? Magic went fucky. Do you know why magic is going fucky now? Because I used to be able to do this. Here, let me show you. See <laughs> <laughs> it again. Okay. Are you like a barbarian? No, I'm not a barbarian. <laughs> I'm a ranger, uh, horizon walker. I step through gates, through portals. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I was. I used to be able to open up portals and conjure things and create things that were magical. I mean, you still can't like, take another one of the breaths. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I once created this really, really cool staff that can like command the wind and the rain. It was really cool. Call down lightning and stuff like that. But somebody stole it from me. Oh, you know what? I didn't good. We're gonna. Mm. You seem like someone who would enjoy something like that. <laughs> it like warps. It's like alive. Okay. The, the plants in it to like like, oh, like match match your aesthetic. Oh, so, like, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. No, if if I find the person who stole it, I'll kill them. And take it. Mm. Who stole it from you? I could kill them. I'm kind of on the middle of a job right now. It, if I'm being honest, this one feels a little personal. Um, but after the personal project, I I find people and kill them all the time. Um, uh, well, I mean, I don't wish death on anyone, but I um, I can also bring them back to life. Uh, uh, their their name's Norkaraku. Norkaraku. Where'd you see him last? <laughs> In the Feywilds. Okaraku Feywilds, okay. Um, I don't think they belong there. Oh, hey, they're not supposed to be there. Normal. Well, no, I was going to say that the Fey like to kick people out who don't uh, belong, but that is not true. Not true. They like to get you dancing for a long time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there was a, a lot of reasons why I didn't, you know, um, why I split with them. Sure. Oh, former lover? Um, <laughs> actually, there's someone who I kind of like right now. <gasps> and she's here. Do you want me to find her and bring her to you? Oh, well, she's on the ship. Oh, 
easy job then. <laughs> <laughs> she has really shiny hooves. <laughs> she says and taps. Oh, she she does the elevator. And and um I don't want to be rude. She didn't accept payment and then she said she doesn't take payment from the crew. Oh, um she is <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, uh, sh- she, she's a type of fae that really never ha- had it. She, Cause she's like a, a, a subsection of um, centaur fae. They never really had like a use for like money because oh, they, they didn't have currency. They just well, don't they lived in herds on the plains, like like the interplanar plains sure. across. I just wanted like, cause you know you always join up with a group, you don't know, and it's like. <laughs> like they're gonna fix death. That's really important to me. So what? What? Yeah, they're gonna fix death. Death is death's busted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> death's I mean, fucky, like magic's fucky. We're, we're, um, we're getting there. Nobody told me that. Oh, death's fucky. It's fine. We're gonna fix it. Um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna find their dad, and their dad knows the voyager, and then we're gonna find the voyager, and we're gonna fix it. I don't like to talk about. The Voyager, but I understand I brought it him up. Neither do I. Yeah, no, I know. He, uh, big guy comes down, kills a lot of people. Bad shit. Um, um, why is my magic fucky? Well, um, some of the... Well, the primordial deities can't die, but um, theoretically, if if they were r- released, then they would return to Chaosian beings, and then... Uh, they would essentially run loose until either something caged them or they like, it's like, it's like if you grab like a big like thing of like sand and like shook it in like water, like it'll, it'll, it'll eventually like settle down, but like not maybe the same way it did before because the rules are different. Right. Okay. So it's the same, but it's different. Well, like everything would get all chaotic and then it would settle into a new order and the rules of that order would be impossible to predict. Well, I don't think the rules are that hard to predict. It's just Pathfinder 2. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, the rules are pretty hard. Just, 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 get, just, them again. <laughs> just get some books, you know, like it's, okay. it's easy. Easy. But actually, I mean, uh, if you're really curious in that kind of topic, Tiny Knight is like much more well-versed. Like I just, like, like, it's always been a curiosity of mine. Like, obviously, Faye, like, kind of knows some things, a lot of things about magic. Yeah. But, like, um, um, I've actually learned a, lo- a lot more from him. Um, though he studied in the Fey Wilds on magic. I'm not that curious. Thank you. <laughs> and then I'm going to uh, take another handful of stew. <laughs> and now, a word from our sponsors. Are you in or are you out? Yeah, that's what I figured. Hmm. Caleb, I'm distracting the casino owner. Please tell me you're at the vault. I'm at the case. I'm opening it now. Okay, I'm going in. This is the high rollers table. You're gonna need to ante quite a bit if you wanna get in on this game. You got it. We've got a problem. The case is empty. There's just something written here in gold. It, what? I only ante with the top quality tier dice. Misty Mountain Gaming. Here. The dice is right here. You know what your friend found in that case? Promo code D20 Tails for 15% off. Go get your own. Greetings and salutations. You are back in another D20 Tales. Tells a tabletop maker's story. And today we are hearing from Rose. <gasps> Me! Uh, one of my 
things that I love adore, uh, love and adore about tabletop makers, I love adore them, um, is the fact that they are made by gamers for gamers. So a lot of the just things that you want and that you need as a gamer are there to help you, like uh, cup holders and uh, little dice places and this nice soft springy table that you can roll dice on and they bounce. Um, and they're super fun and I love them. Nine. And nine. <laughs> you have a good modifier. Yeah. It's okay. Um, to, well, the camera's there. Just for that delivery, to, I know she rolled a nine, but she has a plus 15 modifier on her charisma checks. Just keep that in mind. Let's return and see what our merry band of misfits have gotten themselves into. Cress, where'd you go? To the library? So yeah, as you pan to Cress, uh, she's just sitting at the desk, kind of head in her hands, mumbling to herself, kind of eyes darting around the room as she's, every now and again, she'll pause and like try a little bit of magic, just anything, dancing lights to see. As you do, you hear a chunk, and one of the books you have with magnetic binding stuck to the shelves pulls loose and then falls to the floor. You sense a presence, just a small wandering spirit. One of the candlesticks on your bedside table wobbles. Who's there? It wisps across the room. You feel the presence hovering near the door, and then it's gone. I'm gonna peek my head outside the door. Give me a cultism check. My whole stick. Dirty 20. Nice. Yes. Nice, babe. You're pretty confident that this is just a, an, uh, wild spirit that probably can't even speak and isn't super aware of what it's doing. It's just acting out on impulse. Fair. Just haunting you because, you know. Because haunted. You draw, you be draw haunted. spirits. <laughs> it just be haunted. I'm not going to live long without magic. Uh, you know what? What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I am going to pull out my deck and pull, not a portal, just a curse card. What's the yeah. worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? Oh, you bleed out of every pore? <laughs> what's, she said, what's the worst that can happen? Let me find out. <laughs> Let's some see nasties. how this goes. The best way to find out is always to fuck around. Exactly. Fuck around or find out. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that no. smile. I don't like that. I don't like that one, but... Mm. And as I do pull it out, I'm just going to say out loud, I would like to speak with the trickster. You hear a thump as you feel the specter from before that passed down the hall quickly move the other way. I'll take that as he's on his way. The lights, they flicker. Then one of them at the end of the hall winks out. Mm. And then winks back on. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna wander out into the hall. Nothing there. I'll just go back and wait in the library. Taking a sweet time. When you step back inside the library, you see sitting in the chair where you were before. <laughs> a small figure. No more than four, four and a half foot tall. Dressed in elaborately colorful gowns, dresses, suits. All patched together, cobbled in a way that intricately flows and almost seems to spiderweb and cascade down them like a waterfall patchwork, but done with exceptional refinery and skill and silk all over their body of an outfit you cannot make head or tails of and holds every color of the rainbow and parts of it shimmer reflecting like mirrors and others glow with different lights that reflect across the walls and shimmer and dance around it, which pulls up to a face that is pulled inward, almost entirely to reverse around the only singular facial feature you can see, which is an exceptionally long, pointed and hooked nose that droops just a little at the end and at the end of the nose, pierced into it, a pearl hangs, dangling, pierced. As they move around on their cheeks, but they have no ears, 
There is piercings of all sorts of other dangling jewelry, and on their fingers you see dangle chains, bracelets, and rings. And then that is when you realize fingers, fingers, fingers crowded on their hands, more than a dozen on each hand, and then running, poking through small slots along their forearm, (laughs) up their sleeve, and to their shoulders, where tiny other hands bud out, and they grasp, just reaching up wispy-like, and just pricking and flicking the dangling baubles hanging pierced from their cheeks, which jangle around the room with a whimsical-like note that echoes So you've created the worst thing I've ever done. I can teach you how to use a sword. You don't have to do this. <laughs> I can teach you how to swing a sword. I'm not good at that. I know, but like, well, th- yeah. this is the alternative. I'll teach you how to swing a sword. <laughs> I'm sure it'll, it'll be fine. The things uh, you'll do to avoid playing a martial character. <laughs> Seriously, the sweet yeah. paralysis demon has a new form, and it's uh, that. Yeah, that sounds about uh, right. Especially with the fingers. Uh, so as Cress sees him, sitting in her chair, she's just going to stiff it, and her face turns to stone, as she knows this is dangerous territory she's treading into, and she's going to be as cautious and as respectful as possible. It's been a while since I've seen you. It's a pleasure. (laughs) Rolls of skin peel up its forehead, and then it opens, and you see the back of an eye which rolls around completely, fixes on you, and then snaps shut. And the fold sinks back down. You speak Sylvan, which is the Fey language. Do I know what he said? No. Great, cool. Okay. How much of a conversation? Mm-hmm. If you can, I'd like to speak with you. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love his voice. That was just gibberish, by the way. I was just fucking with you. Cross! It's great to see you. What have you been doing? Have you been having fun with your pirate friends? Immensely. <laughs> oh, yeah! I'm so glad! And everything jingles. And the whole, like, sparkly lights dance around the room like a disco ball. <laughs> I have a couple questions for you. Sure, give me a second. And a single strand of hair, like Play-Doh, pulls growing out of their head and then wisps away and then immediately drops. And it's like a fiery bright red. They grab it. Just revealing your contract. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry. I forgot what you said. I have a couple things I need to ask of you. <laughs> what do you want to know? Back when we made this contract with Vista, you wanted to make another one with me. Oh, yes. Oh, I remember that offer. I was like, that's magic you have, but do you want fun magic? <laughs> I have fun magic. Yes. Sadly, I've lost my current magic, and this seems to be the best alternative. Oh, goody! I love so... (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. And it smiles to show a row of inverted teeth. Ah. As in, the normal parts of the teeth that you would see are embedded into the gums, and the bottoms hang out. And they try to just jangle loosely against each other. No! Crest just... (laughs) Pauses for a moment. 
I can do with this. Is the contract still open? Uh, we didn't make the contract yet, but we can just sign on the hair. What does this contract entail from me? One second. <laughs> it points at a candle flickering in the corner of the room and it pops. And then a little tiny cow away into the corner and through the wall. Ah, sorry. You're bothering me. Hmm. I'm not a fan of the Afrit. They've been misbehaving all over the place and I just don't want them spying on me. Okay, contract. Just read it. It's all there. Trickster, you know as well as I do I can't read. Okay, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. Cool. Nothing happens. Boom. A wall of text hits your brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's like scrolling past the terms of service. A high speed, just whoosh, like 500 pages of words. All in Sylvan. I'm gonna need that one more time, a little slower. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, take your feet. <laughs> the feely ones, not the eaty ones. Hold it up. Run it along nice and slow. All right, to be fair, I don't have time for this. My family's expecting me. <sighs> you can, you can kind of like. Scroll? Do you use that word? Scroll? What I want to know is, number one, uh, how is this going to affect my deck? Oh. Your deck isn't working. I always wanted to get a finger in the Voyager's business. Oh. How is this going to affect my deck? Oh. A lot of people have been calling about problems with magic. Now is the time to capitalize. I'm sure you will. Can I see a card? Yes! Uh, I'm going to hand him the curse card that I had pulled. phrases related to things that you feel guilty about. Ooh, it affects your diplomacy and other things. Mm. So if I understand, because you weren't gifted the deck by the Voyager, when you use it, it strikes back at you. Because you're stealing power! <laughs> mm -hmm. I can make this more fun! I, let's not break a thing that's already beautiful, love! Let's just make it <laughs> they pull another hair. Boom! Turn to service. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have two contracts: one for magic, one for a new deck. Well, not a new deck. And then improved one. Let's just say it'll be more interesting. Any questions? 
No! Good. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm gonna send somebody to keep an eye on Do you care what shape they take? Anything sexy? Like a pet? Or like... I mean, if that's what you're into, we dabble in all the lights now. I like foxes. No judgment. I see the appeal. All right. Okay. Consider him directable. All right. Is there uh, any long-term effects that I need to be worried about using this magic and this deck outside of the curses that are already in the deck? Um, there's a primary one. We'll figure this out later. Take this curse and this one can go back into your deck. All right. And this one can go into your soul. Oh. And it passes right through you and vanishes. <gasps> I agree to these two contracts. And I... How do I sign pieces of paper? You're holding them out, and you feel them writhing in between your fingers, the end of the hair, and then it hits a pore and slithers inside. (laughs) And they're gone. All right, time to never tell Faust. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I look forward to working with you. I think you mean working for me. Would you like to introduce me to my new companion then? And they disappear. (laughs) All right. So you find yourself standing now in an empty room. Though, for about three heartbeats, all of the sparkling lights, the jangles, and the tinkling like silver bells hang in the air and then gradually fade uh, like a laugh, tinkling into the distance. An after image. Room feels so dark, so dim, so damp, so gray and lifeless that you feel almost as if you've lost something beautiful that you did not previously comprehend. Ah, now that the trickster is gone and I am not in what felt like tremendous amounts of danger. Um, You just see her go. (gasps) And dart out of the room looking for Kalisa. Next time on Plain Striders. Can you also keep a secret? Mm -hmm. Safe is a relative term. Can I? No. Okay. (laughs) Talk to me. Power.